Hey, what's up? I'm Luis, and here's another useful script for you. This script adds a new keyboard shortcut to Houdini that can quickly connect any selected node to output directly. So you can quickly inspect the output of any node without wasting time to fiddling around the connections. Once you download the script and place it to the correct folder, open the script with any text editor and copy these two lines of codes. Then you can create a new tool on your shelf. Here I will just edit my already created tool, go to the script tab and paste the codes there. Make sure you've removed the hashtag in front of the code in order to make it work. Go to the hotkey tabs, click the edit button on the second row to add a new hotkey. Here you can assign any hotkey to this command and I will use Z here since it's convenient for my left hand. Now you can select any node in your node graph and connect to the output quickly using the hotkey. I'm using Redshift here but it also supports Arnold, Mantra and Karma as well. Please remember that it can only connect the node to the first input of the output node, not any other inputs. This is usually more than enough already. I'm working inside the Redshift Builder here, but it also supports the map network directly. Here I have three input nodes and three output nodes from different renderers. Notice that even if you mix renderers, it can still connect to the output node correctly. I don't know who will do this in production, maybe someone who's crazy during the lockdown, but it's good to know that this is possible. If you have multiple outputs, it will connect to the closest output node, which is most likely to be the shader network that you are working with if you have several groups of different shaders in the MAT network. Sometimes you might have some very complicated big shader networks that make the selected node closer to the output of another group of node on the left side. In this case, it will pick up the output node on the right hand side if there is any, so you don't accidentally connect to the wrong output. It will only pick up the output node on the left side when there is no output node on the right. All these designs are trying to connect the node to the correct output intuitively. By the way, the drag and drop script was very popular thanks for the compliments. There is a small update to handle special file path if it contains some special characters. And it works on Linux too. Now you can go to the GitHub page, click release and then you can download all of them together. Okay, that's it. If you want to buy me a beer too, you can click the Gumroad page below this video. And I will see you next time.